Let's do a speed test. So this is the download and upload speed for the TP-Link Archer GE800 PE19000 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 7 Gaming Router. This is the TP-Link BE19000 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 7 Gaming Router. The model is Archer GE800. It's able to work in router mode or access point mode. It also has got 3 gas network, a 6 GHz, 5 and 2.4 GHz network. So you can really configure this gaming router with several networks. It also comes with two 10 gigabits and four 2.5 gigabits per second LAN ports, which we will show you in a while. So let's unbox and set up this router and we will show you its features. These are the items. Inbox. Upon powering up and looking at the router, it has got a very unique shape. It resembles the TIE Fighter from Star Wars. Now, at the front, as you can see over here, there are four buttons. From left to right, you've got the WPS button, followed by the wireless button where you can press and hold this button for about 2 seconds to turn on or off the wireless functions of your router. Then you have got the game mode button, where you can press this button to turn on game mode. Press and hold this button for about 2 seconds to turn off the game mode. Finally, you have got the LED on off button. So this button you can press and hold for about 2 seconds to switch RGB effects. So that's the front. Let's take a look at the back of the router. Looking at the back of the router, you've got the following ports and buttons. From left to right, you've got the on-off button, followed by the reset pin hole. It has got four 2.5 gigabits per second LAN ports, as well as two 10 gigabits per second LAN ports with one of them as a combo. It has also got a one USB 3 port. And finally, you have got the power port. Looking at the side of the router, you can see the LED. And this LED is on both sides of the router, on the left as well as on the right. Upon powering up the router, it will alternate between red and blue LED. This indicates that the router is starting up. And we have also listed here the various states of the LED status and the description for your convenience. After the router has powered up, it will be blinking red LED. So let's set up the router. With the router powered on and in ready state, we're going to plug in the LAN cable. We will plug into the 10 Gbps LAN port over here.
So before setting up the router, you will require the router information, such as the SSID and the password. And this can be found on the label at the bottom of the router, shown over here. So let's set up the network. There are two methods that you can set up the network. One is via the Kitter app, which you can download onto your mobile phone and set it up. And the other method is via a web browser, which we will show you how it's done right now. So from your computer, you need to connect your computer's wireless network to the router. You'll select TP-Link 5G Gaming. Now the password is on the label that is located on the bottom of your router. So key in the Wi-Fi password to connect your computer to the router. Once connected, open a web browser and key in the following IP address. This will bring up the web interface. You need to create an administrator password. Let's get started. Select your time zone. Now we have already connected the LAN cable to the combo port, which is also the recommended port. For connection type, we'll select dynamic IP and let's proceed. Go to next. Now, you can personalize your wireless settings for this case, we will use the default settings that is provided by the router. Let's proceed. We will use the default settings for router update. The settings are applied successfully. Let's go to next. So there's a potential network issue detected. We need to reconnect our device. Let's do that. Let's connect to our network again. We are connected. Let's go to text. Now they found another router on our network. And this might cause double net issues. So this router is independent of my modem. So it's highly recommended that you remove your old router and connect your modem to this gaming router, which we will do that. Go to next. So you can create a TP-Link ID to bind this router. For now, we'll skip. We'll skip the improvement program. For identifying clients, we'll select maybe later. So you're all set and the router is set up. Let's open a YouTube and attempt to play a YouTube clip. We'll play this clip. And you're able to play the YouTube clip. 
So this is how you unbox and set up the TP-Link BE19000 Archer GE800 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 7 Gaming Router.